Welcome back to JSA TV Live, where we are coming to you live from the show floor at Yada in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. We're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders across the digital infrastructure industry. And joining me today, we have a first time JSA yes. TV guest. We have Maria Wilson from Big Fiber. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Welcome. Of course, we've talked to Big Fiber a handful of times and always love catching up with you guys. Yeah. There's so much to talk about with what you guys are doing. But, you know, you've recently rebranded from Bandwidth IG to Big Fiber. And what you do is right there in the name of the company now. I mean, that's what you do. You build Big Fiber solutions for yeah. companies, right? Yeah. So, yeah. So let's talk a little bit about yeah. that and what you guys have going on. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, um, ex we're building dark fiber solutions. And, you know, I think the the theme this week, or I'd say in the, this year, has been AI. Um, so when we think about AI, AI is, it's it's very, you know, capacity, you know, demanding, right? Um, but it's more than the, just that, you know, it's obsessed. And so are we, you know, we're obsessed about bandwidth. Um, and really, like, in order to support that, like, we specialize in purpose-built dark fiber. And what does purpose-built mean, right? So it means we're taking our customer requirements into consideration. We're building 100% underground dark fiber networks um, that's built with you know, scalability in mind, it's built with uh, achieving low latency, and it's built for reliability. So uh, that's exactly what our AI customers need. Yes, we are talking a lot about AI. Of course, we were at Yada. We've heard a little bit about it, I'm sure yeah. you have, as we've been here throughout the day. Um, it's all really exciting stuff, though. So how do you see AI continuing to shape what we're doing in the data center industry? And if you have any examples of how you've helped customers with you know, yeah. their AI solutions, I'd love to hear about them. Yeah, so um, with Big Fiber, right, we don't necessarily shape like the inside plant of the data centers, you know, even for AI, but what we do help with is actually connecting their facilities, and that's a big deal. So yeah. again, taking, you know, always customer first, we're, we're listening to them, what are their requirements and needs? And what we're hearing is like, we need to di diversity, two routes. We need triversity. We're hearing quadversity, um, or even sometimes they need, you know, symmetrical routing. So, so why is that important, right? Like, we have to achieve, we have to design and engineer routes that meet those requirements, um, and that can achieve again low latency uh, for these workloads to run. So they're trying to they're trying to train these models fast. They need the bandwidth. They need high throughput, um, and so that all stems from actually getting from these sites uh, to the right away. Um, and so we're always looking at like custom engineering, you know, like let's say they have to connect two sites together and there's a rail yard in between both of them. Cool, you know, let us help figure that out. Let us help design and, and engineer that for them. Wow. Yeah. And if, you know, another challenge that, that we've talked a little bit about with your team in particular is that if there is fiber in the ground, it might not always do the job or it might, it might not have yeah. the availability, right? Right. Yeah, we don't, you know, the one thing that we don't do is we don't retrofit, you know, legacy systems. You know, we're building brand new custom networks um, to support the requirements today. So, yeah, exactly. You can't, you can, I'm not saying it's not possible, but we want to make sure that, like, again, we're taking those requirements and we're building for not just today, but for the future. So, you know, uh, Big Fiber, you know, launching, you know, over five years ago, our network that was built five years ago is successfully supporting AI, AI requirements today. Because why? Because we're building with the future in mind. We're building a reliable network that's again 100% underground, um, and we're not stitching. We're sticking to the foundation of what we what we were built on. So again, it is truly just dark fiber. Yeah. Um, and again, connecting these data centers together and making sure that they have the the reliability, the uptime, the service assurance, um, you know, for the future. You mentioned being around for about five years now, and I know that there's been a lot of growth over that time. It's yeah. a short amount of time. A lot of growth, especially in the Bay Area in Atlanta, we always seem to have things going on. Can you yeah. give us any sneak peeks or, or want to highlight anything that's been going going on recently? Yeah. So I think what's what's been really exciting, um, just even today, and then thinking about the future. But you know, in Atlanta, for example, like we're seeing our network, you know, double in size. We're supporting many customers of of different industries. Of course, AI. Um, but we're you know what we're seeing is a lot of industries leveraging AI, right? So um, our network is growing because of that. And in the Bay Area, we are leveraging our, our built infrastructure to support, you know, we're launching new labs, we're launching to new sites, like we are meeting those connectivity needs. Uh, and same with Hillsborough, of course. Um, but you know, what's to come ahead, it's it's exciting, you know, hopefully there'll be another uh, market that we can uh, embark on. But um, as of today, we're, we're sticking with, you know, our, our networks and our regions that we're in. 
and we're, we're doing the right thing for the communities. You know, we have a big difference program where we're as serving and helping as we're building to more rural sites where there is, you know, land power availability uh, available for our customers. You know, we're, we're trying to find partners where we can support the community um, and then also make sure that our, our vendors and our customers are all seeing that success. So we're being a good partner where we're at today and then looking forward to the future growth. Absolutely. Well, great to catch up with you yeah, and to hear so all about the things yeah. going on at Big Fiber. Lots of big things, pardon the pun, always going on. So we love hearing yeah. from you guys. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Well, thank you to Maria. Thank you to our viewers for tuning in. We've got a lot more to come tomorrow for day two. We're just about wrapping up here on day one at Yada, but stick around and come back tomorrow. A lot more to come. In the meantime, everybody, happy networking.